LAPD tells me every month they get hundreds of them, calls like this. Here, a man is on an overpass threatening to kill himself. We respond to suicide calls quite often, unfortunately. Police confirm last month Daniel Wexler was taken in for a psych evaluation after he threatened suicide. He just said he felt like giving up. A friend of Wexler says she called police after he made that comment and said his dad wouldn't realize his gun was missing. We don't know what type of treatment Wexler received. That's confidential. But APD says when they talk to a person threatening to kill themselves, they'll call an ambulance and have them taken to a hospital. After that, the care is up to a doctor and the patient. The doctors make that determination how long they're there. Uh, but it's a short-term facility no matter how, how you look at it. They're there for a few days at max. Then they're released, but very soon it won't just be police responding to suicide threats. A family member can say, can call and say, um, you know, I'm concerned about this person. Or someone can call and say, um, I need help. County leaders say by next spring, there will be what are called community engagement teams, mental health professionals responding to some of those suicide threat calls. All our first responders will appreciate this service because they're often the ones who get the calls even when it's not, um, when there's not the threat of violence. And Commissioner Maggie Hartsteven says it will help a lot of people in crisis too. The cost for that new program is about a million bucks. It's coming out of a tax you passed two years ago to help people with mental illness. And there are other programs the county is rolling out next year. That includes drug and mental health treatment programs for inmates once they're out of jail and for other people with drug use issues. For Target 7, I'm Nancy. Laughlin.